All right, guys, so in this video, we're taking a look at the new T motor F1303 5000 kV motor. So, a while back, I did a video on a prototype of this motor, the 1303 size 5000 kV from T motor. It was, uh, looks somewhat different from this one, so it was on this toothpick style quad here. I'll link that video down in the description, you guys can check it out. Um, but can you see here, you know. That motor has been updated somewhat. The bell is a little bit different. It's got a three uh, spoke hub instead of four. And the biggest change is obviously the two millimeter shaft. That was one of the things that people wanted. They, they didn't want the one and a half millimeter shaft. Even though it's two millimeters in the under the bell there, it's only one and a half millimeters for the prop. This one goes two millimeters all the way through. As you can see here, the windings and the stator looks pretty close to the same as before. Well, the windings on the prototype look better, uh, visually at least. On the production motor, it's a little bit messier looking, but I don't think that really makes a difference in terms of the power or the power output. And yeah, um, that's mainly the big difference. Uh, the, actually, I don't remember what the weight of the prototype motor was, and it probably doesn't matter because you can't buy it anyway. But the production motor is coming in at about six grams with all the uh, motor wire. So I stuck the motor here on this here, the Gnarly 3 or Gnarly FPV Primo 3. And uh, yeah, this uh, frame is kind of hard to get. I get offers for people to want to want to buy this quad off of me all the time. But yeah, this was a keeper. So if you have an opportunity to get this frame, if it comes back in stock, I would recommend buying it. I'll link this video as well in the description. It's always uh, out of stock because uh, it's a very popular frame. But if you want to build a toothpick kind of a little bit different with this canopy, you know, um, it's uh, it flies really nice and it's, it's a nice frame. I uh, highly recommend it. But yeah, I put it on here and um, I'm using the gem fan. I think these are, yeah, these, I'm going with the Byblade this time here, the gem fan 3018. And you do have to drill out the holes if you don't have the ones with the two millimeter shaft. So there's ones that come with the one millimeter shaft hole and other ones that come with the two millimeter shaft hole. So you want, obviously you need the ones with the two millimeter shaft hole for them to work with this motor. So it could be a downside. They're not quite as um, readily accessible or readily available as um, the one and a half millimeter shaft props, but they are becoming more and more available. I'll link them down in the description as well if you're looking to figure where to buy those. And yeah, that's pretty much it. Um, I like the motor, it's good. I'm gonna, I have another set, I'm gonna be putting this on something else later. It's pretty efficient, pretty good, pretty long flight times, um, also pretty good power, so really all, all around a good motor. And yeah, I'll show you here the uh, flight footage. Um, I'll link all that stuff I'm talking about here down in the description. So just go down there, check out the other videos to the this quad, the previous prototype motor, etc. And those will be all down in the description. So here is the flight footage. A little bit of a wind right now. Running a 3S450 like usual. I did uh, put a custom tune on here, 424. Updated since the last gnarly Primo 3 video. I'll put the link to the CLI dump in the description. If you want the tune, it's nothing too crazy. The motors feel pretty similar to the uh, prototypes I flew a while back and pretty close to the same way they the ones from FPV cycle fly I also have some uh, Amex you know 13 or threes coming soon same KB 
So if you're wondering how some other ones fly, I'll have those uh, in another video soon, but this one's flying pretty nice. Pretty locked in. Really nothing to complain about. Pretty good power too. The voltage is holding up pretty well too. So efficient on this prop. Yeah, I'm going full throttle and uh, the voltage sag is pretty reasonable. Trying to fly a bit harder here, so it's a little hard to talk and concentrate on flying at the same time. But yeah, these motors are nice. If you're looking for some 13 3s you do have to get the props with the two millimeter hubs if you have to drill them out, but they ought to hold up better in crashes with a two millimeter prop shaft. Wow, pretty good flight time. And uh, actually, I'm not sure if the previous, I was uh, flying this battery a little bit before, I'm not sure if it recorded or not because the my goggle battery died on me. So this is not even a full pack that you're seeing here. All right, now we're at the end of the battery. Ten and a half volts, four and a half minutes. Hmm, thinking like six minutes. Yeah, ten, actually recovered here, 10.8. So you can probably do six minutes easy on a 450 on this motor. It's pretty efficient, it's got good power. And, and good speed too. Overall, I, I like it. Anyway, let me know what you guys think in the comments. Talk to you later.